Uh, staying with security matters back here in Lagos, uh, barely six months after October NSAS protest, a book on NSAS, police brutality, protest and shrinking civic space in Nigeria has been presented by the Action Group on free civic space, or PLUS TV Africa's correspondent, Destiny Momor, has more. The 9th of October 20 would always go down in memory as a 9th full of trepidation and pandemonium as NSAS protesters had a face-off with men of the Nigerian army. This book titled NSAS, Police Brutality, Protest and Shrinking Civic Space in Nigeria captures the moment during and after 2020 and SARS protests. With special focus on Akuzu SARS, Spaces for Change attempts to X-ray the deadliest units of the now disbanded Special Anti-Robbery Squad, SARS, at Anambra, southeastern Nigeria. The group members bear their minds. Impunity remains the most single most serious obstacle to police reform. And unless government understands this and addresses it with the urgency it, it calls for, we are likely going to have another answers. So what our coalition has done is to look beyond the symptoms, to look at the undercurrents, look at the philosophical foundations of violence, and to see what lessons we can draw from past experiences. The issue of um, how politicians and government institutions actually use police um, officers, you know, to repress and uh, subjugate um, some of those uh, individuals and organizations they see, they perceive, you know, as vocal in criticizing some of their actions. On the alleged poor handling of human rights, the group is clamoring for response to public allegations of unlawful buying of NSAS dead bodies from police by University of Nigeria teaching hospitals in Enugu to be used by student doctors for their research work. With the February ban on cryptocurrency, Victoria Ibazim says the NSAS crisis linked to the CBN's action. We're talking about findings relating to the crackdowns on NSAS protector. Bank accounts have been frozen. Cryptocurrency has been banned. Communities that gave eyewitness accounts of um, the lucky shootings have been demolished. The consensus here is that all citizens are entitled to live freely without fear of persecution or intimidation from states and non-state actors. As such, this group is unequivocal in asking the government to take necessary step to curb the menace of police brutality in Nigeria. From Lagos, Nigeria, Destiny Momo, reporting for PLUS TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.